The new frontier is here whether we seek it or not. Beyond that frontier are uncharted areas of science and space. Unsolved problems of peace and war. Unconquered problems of ignorance and prejudice. Unanswered questions of poverty and surplus. It would be easier to shrink from that new frontier, to look to the safe mediocrity of the past, to be lulled by good intentions and high rhetoric. And those who prefer that course should not vote for me or the Democratic Party. Okay, I'm over here at the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena, where from July 11th to July 15th, the 1960 Democratic National Convention was held. It's right off Figueroa in MLK Boulevard in South Central LA. Now the reason why I'm here also is because sadly and unfortunately they're going to tear down this wonderful old arena that was built in 1959. Now that speech that I just made, the New Frontier speech, was the speech that Kennedy gave after accepting the nomination for the as the Democratic candidate of 1960. He actually made that speech behind the sports arena here at the LA Coliseum. When this place was built in 1959, it was opened and dedicated by Vice President Richard Nixon in 1960. It was built for eight and a half million dollars and in today's money it would be 69 million dollars. They're gonna demolish this starting June so I thought it would be uh, kind of like uh, for, for posterity if anything to record this for future generations for the history that took place here that gave us the man that epitomized the new era of the 60s and which would be from that era spell out the future for the 21st century and it all started right here with JFK getting nominated in 1960 in June from June 11th to the 15th 1960 when it all took place here they're gonna tear this place down in June like I said they're gonna have a a send-off party to this place this Thursday the 12th of May 2016 in fact this place was given the uh, nickname recently the dump that jumps by Bruce Springsteen he in fact he was the last uh, famous celebrity to perform here in March 2016 and he used to call this the dump that jumps okay the candidates the potential candidates for the Democratic Convention of 1960 for the forthcoming presidential elections were California Governor Pat Brown, Senator Stuart Symington of Missouri, Senator Lyndon B. Johnson of Texas, former Governor Adlai Stevenson of Illinois, Senator Wayne Morris of Oregon, and Senator Hubert Humphrey of Minnesota. And of course, JFK, he won on the first ballot. And then, of course, he named, uh, as we all know, Lyndon Johnson as his running mate. And his headquarters was at the Biltmore Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. But uh, actually, JFK, he didn't stay there. He stayed at the Mauritania Apartments in the Larchmont District. And I'm going to go there for you fans of JFK. And the uh, Mauritania Apartments were actually the apartments that were owned by uh, the Tin Man himself, Jack Haley. So I'm going to go there for you JFK fans. And uh, like I said, 
This is the last hurrah for this very famous place, the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena. So, uh, like I always say in these videos, if these walls could talk, all the famous concerts that took place here throughout the 1960s, the famous and popular events that took place here. For what it's worth, hell, I even came here to the Ringling Brothers and Barnum Bailey Circus right after the uh, 1992 uh, LA riot. So, <laughs> for whatever that's worth. Okay, well, this man, JFK, the shock from seeing him assassinated on film this country has never gotten over it and uh, I guess it's the first and only time this country has ever suffered a palace coup, coup quote unquote so uh, what did what that era promised in fact that song that I just played by Shelby Flint that was actually number 22 on the Billboard 100 Around the time Kennedy was uh, sworn in as the President of the United States, January 20th, 1961. Okay, let me give you a little bit about this building here. It was actually uh, designed by the famous architect, Welton Beckett. He's the guy that did the Capitol Records building in 1956, the Cinerama Dome in Hollywood, 1963, and the Santa Monica Civic Auditorium, 1958. And this was the home court to the LA Lakers uh, from October 1960 to December 1967. And uh, for a little factoid for you fans of uh, films, of the 20th century this is where they filmed rocky one and two uh this is where they did the fight fight scenes so uh that's just a little factoid and uh okay well i sure hate to see this place go but i wanted to get this place for posterity's sake uh they're gonna they're gonna replace it with a 250 million dollar uh, soccer stadium so we're in the expo exposition park area of south central la so uh let me give another little short piece from the inaugural speech that kennedy gave jfk after being sworn in as president in 1961 we dare not forget today that we are the heirs of that first revolution let the word go forth from this time and place to, to friend and foe alike that the torch has been passed to a new generation of americans an old venerable los angeles memorial sports arena goodbye and all the wonderful memories generations of los angelinos have experienced in this wonderful old postmodern arena. Goodbye, sports arena. Thank you and please subscribe to my channel.